Hello everyone. I'm going to start today by asking you a question. If you had a thousand pounds, what would you do with it? Would you buy toys, books, clothes, maybe sports equipment or music lessons, presents for your family or friends, a party or a holiday? Maybe you would give some to a charity or put some in the bank to save for your future. Whatever you would choose, it would show what your priorities are, what's important to you. And Jesus told a story about people making choices about what was important to them. You can find it in Luke's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 15 to 24. And this is how the story goes. A rich ruler arranged a big feast and he invited everybody that he could think of. The invitations were sent out in good time. Maybe like this one. Please come to a feast. I will let you know when everything is ready. And at last the feast was ready. A servant was sent to let the guests know that everything was prepared. But no one wanted to come. One man said he had just bought some land and he wanted to go and look at it. Maybe he had a tractor. One said that he had a new wife and he wanted to spend time with her. This is us when we got married, when we look young. One said that he had some new oxen to plough up his land and he wanted to try them out. And so the excuses continued. The servant returned to his master and explained that nobody was coming to the party. And the master was furious. Go out and invite everybody you can find, he said. Invite the homeless people, the poor people, the people who are disabled, everyone you can find. Not a single person who refused my invitation will be allowed in. And that is what the servant did so that the feast was full. This story is a parable, it's a story with a meaning. So what did Jesus mean? What he's saying is that God invites everyone to follow him, to be part of his kingdom, to be part of his party. But often people make excuses and refuse to follow him because other things are more important. God continues inviting other people all the time. Everyone has the chance to follow him. But some people still make excuses. They say things like, well, after I finish school, I'll decide to follow Jesus. Or when I've got a good job. Or when I've got my own home. Or when I'm not so busy. When I was at school, I was really good at maths. It was my favourite subject. And in those days, everyone was talking about how anybody who was good at maths was going to be able to earn lots and lots of money in the new computer industry that was just being developed. And I thought, wow, that's good. I'll be able to learn, earn lots and lots of money. But when I was 17, I became a Christian. I asked Jesus to forgive me and to become my Lord and that said that I would try to follow him. 
So by the time I finished at university, my priorities had changed. Having lots of money wasn't so important to me anymore. What I really wanted to do was to have a job that would help people. So I decided to become a teacher and help other people to like maths like I did. And it was a job I loved, I really did. So, how can we make following Jesus a priority in our lives? Being part of Sunday Club like you are, reading the Bible, praying, singing worship songs, thinking about other people instead of ourselves, trying to be like Jesus. So let's ask him to help us do that. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you love us enough to invite us to be part of your family, your kingdom. Thank you for the invitation and we pray that you will help us to accept and to make you our Saviour and Lord and to follow in your ways and have your priorities. Please help us to do that. Amen.
I've got a game for us to play this week. On the table, I've put some things that represent good things that God gives us, but we need to make sure that they don't become more important than God himself. So what have we got? We've got family. We've got a pet. Maybe craft is something that's really important to you. Lots of people spend a lot of time and money thinking about their house. Or maybe you play music or have another hobby that's important to you. Maybe food is important and you like making things, baking things for your family. Some people think a car is very important or just having some money or playing sport or watching sport. Nothing wrong with any of them so long as they don't become more important than God. What I'm going to do now is let you have a little look, have a good look, see if you can remember all of them. There's nine altogether. And then we're going to stop the video and I'm going to take one away and you've got to work out which one it is I've taken away. Okay. Okay, so have a good look. Can you see what is missing? It's the house. Did you get it right? Uh, let's have another go. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to take something away. What about this time? Can you see what's missing? Have a good look. Have you guessed? It was the toy money. One more time. We're going to stop the video and take something away. And third time round, can you see what's missing this time? Check them off, the things that you can remember, what's not there. It's the glue stick representing craft and making things. Now, for the final challenge. We're going to stop the video. I want you to stop your video and see if you can write down all nine things. Have a go. How did you do? Did you remember nine things? See if you can check them off as I bring them back onto the table. Did you remember the house? Took it off in your, on your list if you did. Did you remember the car? And the family? Money was there. And a keyboard or music or hobby, whatever you wanted to put for that. There was a dog or a pet. Maybe you wrote down pet. There was a glue stick or maybe you put down craft or something like that or making things. There was a cake. Or maybe you wrote down food. And there was a ball, maybe you wrote down football or sport or something like that. How did you do? Did you get all nine? Well done for having a go anyway. Let's go guys.
everybody. Well done for playing the game so well. Today's Sunday Club was all about choosing and choosing to follow Jesus. Thank you, Liz, for preparing and doing it. Next week is all about integrity. What's that? See you next week and we can find out. Don't forget to email us pictures of your activities at church at srcf.org.uk and to like this video. Bye from me. Bye. Self-control. We got spirit, how about you? We got spirit, how about you?